Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I've been so impressed with Harry Maguire's development over the years, Peter. Hats off to, to those who've helped him become the ball-playing defender. He is today. He, he's very, very good at stepping into midfield. And his ability to pick out long passes and, and those diagonal balls will play an important part again, no doubt. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Jordi Alba. Oh, that's a key interception. Dembele. And it's Aubameyang. Dembele has it out wide and in space. Great position here. Big chance! Now, who's going to be first to this? Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Alex Tellez. And here's Rashford. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. No, that's been intercepted. Sends it forward. Aubameyang gives his colleague a guilty look. Well, that's down to a simple miscalculation. No more, no less. He's in space and looking for options. And it's Alex Tellez. Oh, he's picked out the runner. There's a beautiful simplicity about this contest. Willing running on one side, dogged defence on the other. Lindelof. Matic. Rashford. Almost halfway and still no goals. Over to the left. Dani Alves gets the better of his opponent and gets the ball. And it's Aubameyang. Maguire. Juan Bissaka. So what can they make of this? Bruno Fernandes. Rashford. Rashford goes through the middle. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And the action is back on the way. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping... Bruno Fernandes! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. <laughs> Keepers dealt with that. Barcelona can start a counter here. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Barcelona looking to get their possession game going here. Yeah, it can be very stylish and expansive to watch if they get it to the standard we know they can. But what's key is the number of ballers in the team. As long as they don't lose the purpose. If they keep the purpose and the urgency, all will be well really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Sancho, Jordi Alba simply refused to be outdone there. Dembele. De Jong. And that's been intercepted. And here's Aubameyang. Now it's Pedro. Has a goal! He has done it! 
Barcelona clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered. A 1-0 lead established. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Pedri. Now it's Braithwaite. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Change being made here presumably to tighten their defence. Yeah, and that's not totally surprising. The manager obviously felt his defence needed reinforcement. He can't afford a, a repeat. Daniel Alves. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Matic. It's Fred. Shifted upfield. Manchester United really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. De Jong. Barcelona still ahead by the game's only goal. Diogo Dallo, Bruno Fernandes looking to get on the end of this. He's lost the ball there, great tackle. I thought it was going to happen then. How many more chances can they realistically ah, expect now? Almost there, and the players can feel it. And that's it. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. Pedri picking up the man of the match award, and no surprise there. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test with very little between two teams that scrapped for everything. And that's where we have to end it, from me Peter Drury and my co-commentator Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.